Hi guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back or to my YouTube channel and welcome to another advent calendar unboxing for 2023. Now as you can tell by the title, this is a little bit of a different advent calendar unboxing because it's not a beauty advent calendar. Now I have had quite a lot of messages this year asking if I'm going to be doing any other kind of advent calendars other than beauty and this is the first one. So this is the Just Spices advent calendar and oh my goodness this smells so good. As I was getting out of the box like the smell was making me hungry. It just smells amazing. So this is the advent calendar here. Now I wanted to show you the packaging before I actually opened it just because it's so nice and this is the book that comes with it as well. So the calendar here, it comes in a big delivery box which is very well packed. Even the inside of the cardboard is designed so that you can just pull it up so you're not having to struggle getting this huge box out of the cardboard box. Very well thought through. Um, but yeah, so this is it. So it actually comes with this sleeve on it and this slides off. Now on this little sleeve we've got some postcards and they do pop out, we've got some perforated edges. And if you can see that, they are actually postcards. So yeah, you can pop those out and send them to whoever you want to. And then this is the advent calendar. So this says Merry Spicemas. So this is the Just Spices advent calendar, which I've never had before. I've seen the unboxing for last year and I was quite intrigued. But yeah, it's just not something I've tried before. So this calendar is £99 and it's a 24 day advent calendar. And it is full of spices, seasonings and toppings for cooking. So something completely different. But I think this is just such a great idea. So the calendar is here. It also comes with a recipe book so we know what we're doing with the spices. So this comes beautifully packaged like this. It says in the mood for food. So we just need to open this up. I've not had a look at this yet. So you just peel the front open and we have a book. Beautifully packaged. I think this is just so nice. This would be a great gift idea as well. So this is the book. It's in cellophane. So we'll open this in a little bit and have a look through it as well. But yeah, it comes with this book. And this book is actually worth $24.99. So yeah, that's included, which is fab. Now, just before we dive into this, I do have a discount code for you. So like I said, this is £99. But with my code, which is just Miss Boo, which I'll pop here, you can get 15% off and free delivery. So it brings it down to under £85. And you can also use that code on everything else on the website as well. So it's not just the advent calendar. So if you want to try some different spices, some different spice sets, they've got some gorgeous gift sets on there. They've got like a gin making set, a DIY chocolate kit, a spice blends bestseller set they've got some really nice gift ideas or if you just want to stock up on your spices then you can get 15% off with my code as well so definitely make use of that I think these are great gift ideas for anybody who likes cooking um, or if somebody wants a little bit of a change if you're stuck in your routine of you eating the same meals and you get a bit bored of them this is just something different that you can do with them and just to mention as well shipping is two to four working days so quite speedy we don't have to wait for this it will be here well before christmas and also in this advent calendar we've got two brand new spices and also a christmas advent calendar exclusive and also inside we'll find a door with a voucher which is worth at least five pounds when you next come to purchase on the website when you put the voucher code in you'll see if it is actually worth five ten twenty five or fifty pounds so you might get fifty pounds off your next purchase it might be five pounds but worth a try so all these spices in here are vegan free of animal products and plant-based which is fab for me especially and they're made with natural ingredients with no additives so let's start then so this is the advent calendar so it's like a huge cylinder it's like a really big can and this is the shape of the spices inside as well uh, yeah i just think it's really different nice and colorful so we've got red and green and gold nice and christmasy we've got like an angel shape we've got some little christmas pictures on it which is nice because not a lot of advent calendars this year have gone Christmases. So let's dive in with day number one. So number one is here. So once you open these, it is open like you can't close it again. So the spice is in here and then on the back of the door it says your cooking adventure begins, scan here for the recipe. So there is a QR code on the back of each door as well, just to give you a recipe for this particular spice. So in day number one we've got pizza topping. So I mean pretty self-explanatory. So this is a spice topping to pop on top of pizzas. So inside here it's 43 grams, you get approximately 22 servings which is quite good and you can sprinkle it on top of your pizza as you bring it out of the oven it works well on homemade pizzas and I've heard that some people also put it on frozen pizzas so if you want to try that out give that a go so inside here we've got grated garlic oregano grated onion and basil that sounds lovely oh it says sprinkle this pizza topping over your homemade pizza fresh from the oven it's also the perfect accompaniment to bruschetta or to spice up any frozen pizza yeah there we go so yeah really good size as well I'm sure Dan will love that day number two is up here I like that we have to find them as well so day number two, we've got a pink one. These are so cute. So this is the Mexican All Rounder. So this is perfect for chili con carne, enchiladas, tacos, spicy salsa, and creamy guacamole. I'll try it on a sandwich with mature cheddar. Interesting. Um, in here we've got paprika, ground cumin, garlic, chili, and salt. So this is just a really easy way to cook Mexican dishes at home. 
and yeah add that spice i'm excited to see what this recipe is i do like mexican day number three and in day number three we've got the original salad topping oh so this is the original salad topping so you add it to a salad and you only actually need one pinch of this to get the flavour. You can also add it in salad dressings as well. So you can add it to your bowl of fresh crispy greens with the perfect aroma and spiciness. So in here we've got golden linseed, hemp seed, minced red onion, red bell pepper flakes, peppercorns, mustard powder. This sounds great. I do like that because sometimes with a salad it can be quite boring, can't it? Like not super flavourful. So I'm really excited to use that one. I do like salads but just it's a bit plain, aren't they? Day number four. We have got Texas barbecue mix. Oh, this one sounds nice. So you can use this as a dry rub or as a marinade if you want to pop some in some olive oil and you can use it with meat, greens and tofu. Um, it says, if you love a delicate smokiness with a pleasant kick, the Texas barbecue mix is perfect for all your barbecues, dips and more. Use two teaspoons of spice mix as dry rub per 400 grams of meat. Again, you'll get loads of this, 55 grams in here. We've got sea salt, minced onion, garlic, paprika, red and green bell pepper flakes, parsley, chives, that's that sounds amazing. Um, also, the best before dates I've just noticed on the bottom. 2025. You've got ages to use these. Day number five at the bottom. Oh, we've got chicken seasoning. This is going to get used up quickly in my house. We eat a lot of chicken. Uh, this is 79 grams. This is even bigger. So all the pots are the same size, but we obviously have more in some than others. Uh, yeah, 79 grams. So there's approximately 26 servings in this one. And it's perfect for frying, grilling, or oven roasting chicken. Uh, it says rub two teaspoons of the chicken spice mix onto 250 grams of chicken or mix it with olive oil for a spicy rotisserie style marinade. That sounds so good. And we've got sea salt, ground tomato, paprika, rosemary, coriander, turmeric. That sounds great. Yeah, we have chicken a lot, so that is gonna definitely go down well. Day number six, we've got chimichurri seasoning. This is a new one for me. So this is an Argentinian inspired spice mixture and you can use it to spice up any meat dishes instantly. Um, it says add one tablespoon to six tablespoons of olive oil and the juice of half a lime for a fresh herby sauce. Perfect with grilled meat and fish, but also makes a great dip. That sounds really nice. We've got parsley, pink crystal salt, onion, green bell pepper. Oh, that sounds so good. I've never tried anything like that before. Number seven is down here. And we've got the vegetable all rounder. So you can use this on any type of vegetables. Again, we've got 75 grams in here and this is about 50 servings. This will last ages. And this is gonna be a great way to get any kid to eat vegetables. If they're not into the vegetables, this will give them a bit more flavor and it might encourage them to eat them. Um, it says it transforms all kinds of vegetables in an instant, sprinkle over veggies as a seasoning or mix with a little vegetable oil for a delicious marinade. That sounds lovely. I mean, I love vegetables anyway, um, but this is just an extra, extra kick to them, isn't it? In here, we've got sea salt, crushed black telly cherry pepper, garlic, onion, paprika, cumin, lemon zest, chili powder. So nice. Number eight. Oh, I'm on this man's face now. So in day number eight, we've got oatmeal spice, a breakfast one. So this isn't just a calendar full of spices for your evening meals. We've had spices for salads and we've also got a breakfast one. So this says oats so spicy, the spice mix is perfect for porridge, muesli or any other oaty deliciousness like granola, flapjack or oatmeal cookies. That sounds amazing. Use four teaspoons per 100 grams of oats. So if you're just having like oats and milk and it can get a bit boring and a bit bland, this is gonna like spice it up a bit. Amazing. So this uses cocoa bean and vanilla for some natural sweetening. And there's a sweet nutty crunch in here from coconut and almonds. So yeah, we've got almonds, coconut, cocoa powder, cinnamon, vanilla. That's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to use that. I'm gonna start having porridge again in winter. So in day number nine, we've got courgette seasoning. And this is one of the brand new seasonings. The other new seasoning was actually day number six, which was the chimichurri seasoning. So those are the two brand new seasonings which are featured in this advent calendar. So yeah, this is courgette seasoning, something completely different. So this is great for zucchini dishes from casseroles to roast, and it gives Mediterranean herbal notes and a subtle freshness. So 60 grams in this one, it says, whether it's stuffed courgette, bakes or zoodles, Courgette is immensely versatile. Just add two teaspoons of aromatic mix to 250 grams of courgette to rediscover your new favorite squash. We've got salt, onion, tomato, red bell pepper, oregano, basil. Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, courgettes are never the most exciting, are they? But hopefully this will make them taste a bit nicer. Number 10 is just underneath that. I've got a pink one. And we have bowl topping. Interesting. So this is 55 grams and it's to make quick and simple meals tasty. So this is an ideal topping for soups or salad says whether you've got roasted vegetable couscous with tahini or pak choy or carrot and rice, peanut sauce in your bowl, our bowl topping turns all your creations into top treats. Yeah, it sounds like it literally just goes with everything, which is great. 
Uh, but yeah, sesame seed, sea salt, tomato, cumin, ginger, coriander. Yeah, that sounds great. Super easy, that one. Day 11. And in day 11, we've got a scrambled egg seasoning. This is such a good idea. So you can use this on omelettes, scrambled or fried eggs. Yeah, ideal for all egg dishes. It's just super easy to add this to it. It says turn this classic breakfast dish into something special. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of seasoning with three to four eggs, along with any other fresh ingredients. So you can use it with fried eggs and omelettes as well. Yeah, that sounds fab. Dan has a scrambled egg for breakfast, so yeah, I think he will really like this one. 47 grams here. Just something a little bit different, isn't it? Again, just adding a bit of spice to your meals. Day 12. On the ladies' page around here now. And at date 12, we have the pasta all rounder. I mean, let you have a guess at what this one's for. So this says, can't make pasta quickly enough. Sprinkle this pasta all rounder onto an al dente pasta with a little olive oil or use it to season any sauce for an instant taste of Italy. Uh, 50 grams in this one. So it's a Mediterranean spice mix for pasta and there's approximately 22 uses in this one. And it's literally all the flavour that you need for pasta in one little pot. Sounds fab. Again, that was number 12, number 13. I do like that the design is like a spice rack. Very clever. So day 13, we've got roast potato seasoning. Ooh, I love seasoning on my roast potatoes. Spice up fried potatoes or roasts with this roast potato spice mix. Sprinkle over potatoes in the pan or mix with oil for a delicious marinade. Use four teaspoons per 400 grams of spuds. I think for something like roast potato seasoning, I'll probably just sprinkle it over. Uh, I don't generally weigh my potatoes, so probably just wing it on this one, but that one sounds amazing. And it's also delicious with chips or wedges, apparently. Imagine homemade chips with seasoning on. Oh, that sounds so good. Uh, yeah, it's got sea salt, fenugreek, coriander, garlic, paprika, cumin. It's amazing. We'll finish that column now. Move around for 40, 14 at the top here. I've got a yellow one. Banana bread seasoning, so we've got a dessert one now. Um, I've never made banana bread. It's very popular on TikTok, isn't it? Um, or it used to be. This was like a lockdown favourite, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I've just never actually tried this. So it says banana bread is quick and easy but deserves a little support in the spice department. Add half a teaspoon of this banana bread spice mix to 400 grams of batter or just sprinkle on top. So we've got 55 grams in here. And you can also use this in porridge, muesli or yoghurt as well to add a little bit of flavour. Um, it contains almonds, banana chips, cocoa bean, cinnamon and cardamom. And it also has a natural sweet crunch to it as well with the almonds and ground banana. That sounds really nice. Might have to actually make a banana bread now. Day 15 and this is ground meat seasoning. So 55 grams in this one and this is the perfect addition to any ground meat dish. This one smells so good I can smell this. So you don't need any other herbs and spices if you're using this. And it also gives vegetarian meat an extra kick as well. Um, so it doesn't have to be regular meat. We've got red onion, sea salt, paprika, garlic, pepper, mustard powder, coriander. Amazing. That one will definitely be used up quickly as well. On to number 16 at the top. These are actually surprisingly easy to open. And here we've got sandwich seasoning. 50 grams of sandwich seasoning. How random. This isn't something I think to put seasoning with. But you can use this on sandwiches, bread or toast. And there's approximately 33 servings in this one. It says turn your weekday sandwiches into a feast of flavour. Simply sprinkle this spicy sandwich seasoning onto butter, cottage cheese, avocado, ham or cheese. And turn lunch into luxury. That sounds great. Uh, sea salt, red onion, tomato flake, chive, mustard seed. How unusual. I'm looking forward to using that one. That's something really different, isn't it? Day is 17. And we've got aglio e olio seasoning. So this is a garlic kick for any dish. Uh, it says nothing but pasta in your cupboards. Aglio e olio seasoning to the rescue. Mix with cooked spaghetti, add olive oil for your new favorite dinner. Six pinches for a 400 grams of pasta. I do like a pasta dish. And that sounds like a really simple way to make some pasta as well, with a bit of flavor. And there's approximately 16 servings in this one. Day 18. And in day 18, we've got the Mediterranean vegetable all-rounder. So we have the vegetable all-rounder and now I've got the Mediterranean vegetable all-rounder. Slightly different. So this is ideal for roasted vegetables or stir fries. Uh, it says bring a little sunshine to roasted vegetables and soups with the Mediterranean vegetable all-rounder. It pairs exceptionally well with courgettes, tomatoes, aubergines and more. That sounds great because courgettes and aubergines are not really vegetables I enjoy eating. So with a bit of flavour on, I might come around to a bit more. Um, yeah, grated tomato, red onion, sea salt, leek, garlic, paprika. Yeah, fab. Day 19, back this way. 19, we have the Italian all-rounder. So it's Italian, it's ideal for pasta, pizza, or meat dishes and salads. Again, bring a little Italian sunshine to classics like pizza, pasta, and tomato sauces, or add to Mediterranean salads, mozzarella, and meat dishes, and start living la dolce vita. 
I love it. That sounds really nice. Uh, 57 grams in that one. Sounds gorgeous. Uh, day 20, I don't know where that is. So in day 20, we have chicken curry seasoning. Oh, this would be nice. So here is 65 grams, and you can use this as a dry rub or a marinade. It says, get your chicken curry fix with this chicken curry spice mix. Just add coconut milk and give chicken or turkey an authentic Indian flavor. And you need four teaspoons per 200 grams of chicken. So you just need coconut milk. Amazing. Uh, roasted sesame seed, onion, pepper, garlic, turmeric, ginger, white pepper. It's also delicious in creamy kormas and rice dishes. And you can use it for vegetarian dishes as well because it doesn't actually contain any chicken or meat products. Uh, yeah, love it. Really nice. I do like a curry, but it is hard to find a curry that doesn't have milk in. So that's going to be a really easy way for me to have curry. Day 21. And this is a balsamic dressing mix. 55 grams in this one. So with this one, you mix it with oil and vinegar and you have an instant salad dressing. On the back it says, dress up your salads with our balsamic dressing mix. Just stir one teaspoon of the mix into one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of rapeseed or sunflower oil, and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and drizzle. That sounds great. Again, super easy. You could even pre-mix this and then you've already got a dressing there ready for your salads. Super easy, super quick. Amazing. Day 22, and we've got a fish all-rounder. Interesting, I wonder what this one's gonna taste like. It says, Swish Fish. This spice mix is the perfect all-rounder for Mediterranean fish dishes, whether grilled, fried, or baked. Use one teaspoon of spice mix as a dry rub for 250 grams of fish. I don't eat a lot of fish, but we do sometimes have fresh fish, so we can definitely try it on that. Uh, on the website, it also says that it's perfect for marinated prawns, and it's delicious in curries, so. Yeah, endless possibilities. So day 23 is here. And in day 23, we have the tomato mozzarella seasoning. So this is 65 grams, approximately 26 servings in here. It says there can never be too much mozzarella. Grab some fresh tomatoes and make a spicy tomato mozzarella salad. With this spice blend, you'll be imagining yourself in Italy in no time. This probably isn't something I will use because I obviously don't eat cheese. But that sounds fab if you like those kind of salads. Pink crystal salt, tomato, red onion, leek, paprika chili yeah and then finally day 24 so christmas eve and this is the christmas advent calendar exclusive spice which is avocado topping the packaging on this one is fab we've got some little gold avocados so yeah this is exclusive to the advent calendar you can't buy this on the website there's 60 grams in here and it's approximately 40 servings and it's a crunchy topping for avocado it says it has unbeatable flavor and texture that sounds great Santa's brought a surprise. Get more crunch on your avocados this Christmas with our exclusive special edition of this best-selling topping. So there we go. Special edition. Amazing. And here we have the voucher. So the voucher's in day 24. So this is the voucher. There's a code on it and you enter that at the checkout at justspices.co.uk. And you find out whether you've got 5, 10, 25 or 50 pounds off. But it's at least guaranteed to be 5 pounds. So not bad at all. So those are the 24 different spices inside the advent calendar. I honestly didn't know that many spices existed. And I didn't expect it to be like ready mixed spices. When I thought it was a spice advent calendar, I just thought it was going to be just general spices. But this is amazing because the pre-mixed, you can literally easily just add them to dishes and transform them super fast. Um, so yeah, this is also the book it comes with. So this is Delicious Every Day. Spreading happiness with simple and inspiring food. And it's a hardback book. This is really nice. This is a nice gift on its own if you wanted to keep the spices for yourself. So in here we have so many recipes. There's 50 different recipes in here. I mean, I've turned to a great page. Crispy chips, homemade chips. Oh, this uses the Just Spices chip seasoning. So that's even better if it tells you what spices to actually use in here. This one uses the chicken seasoning. So we've got that one in the calendar. So we can make roast chicken with red pepper and tomatoes. That looks delicious. This one uses the tomato mozzarella seasoning. And we get tomato mozzarella bread. So if you're not really sure what to do with the spices, then it's got some great ideas in here. Fluffy pancakes. Oh, that uses a pancake spice. There's a pancake spice. Oh, amazing. So this uses the oatmeal spice. We've got that in here as well. So we can make fresh and fruity oatmeal with bananas, blueberries, and granola. That looks like my kind of breakfast. That looks delicious. So yeah, that is great. Really good quality book. That feels amazing. I'm so excited to do some cooking now. So there we have the advent calendar unboxed. So this is something a little bit different. It saves a lot of time. If you want to change up your cooking a little bit, try some new recipes, try some new spices, add some more flavours to meals that you already make, then this is a great way to do it, great way to try it. The spices are $4.99 individually to buy, but obviously we've got 24 here in the calendar plus a recipe book. So I mean, you could even make a new meal every single day in December. 
if you wanted to take on that challenge. Don't forget as well, if you are interested in the advent calendar or anything else on the website, I do have a 15% off code, which is just Miss Boo, and I have a direct link to the advent calendar in my description down below. So if you head down underneath the video, click that link, and then enter my code when you get to the checkout, you'll get your 15% off, plus your free delivery, and you can start making yourself some new meals. And it doesn't even have to be for Christmas. If you wanted to buy this now, you could spend October trying new meals out and perfecting your meals for when you have guests over at Christmas. So I think that's great. A really different advent calendar for me, and I'm actually looking forward to trying some new recipes. So there we go. So let me know all of your thoughts on the advent calendar in the comments down below. And let me know if you're going to be picking this up. And which spice was your favourite? What are you most intrigued by? I think for me, I think I'm most excited by the oatmeal one to spice up my breakfast. Because that's something that I can't really do much with. So yeah, I'm very excited about that one. Um, also, I think the chicken one is going to go down very well in my house. So yeah. So that is everything for today's unboxing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And I'll see you soon for another unboxing.